You finally made it to my shop. Mm -hmm. I have it all set up. This is just one little area as to where I will be checking out customers. Yes. It's lovely. It took quite a while to get everything set up. As you can see the background, it's very earthy. Yes, earthy and it has like an organic theme, which is exactly what I'm going for. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you have found a few items that you like, I guess? it up. Yeah. Wonderful. Let's start with your items. Oh, you really did go for the good stuff. Mm-hmm. are wonderful. You could bake with them and put them in your smoothies. There are the recipes that go with pitted dates are endless. You could do a whole array of wonderful sweet things. So it even gives you a recipe on the back chocolate coconut date bars. You would need two cups of these dates, three quarters cup of cocoa powder, three quarters cup of shredded coconut, and of course they're putting their own brand that you should use. A quarter cup cacao nibs, two tablespoons pure maple syrup, and one tablespoon of salt. Now, I think that I personally have all the ingredients myself since I own a little shop, but um, dude, this is good stuff. You could eat this every day if you wanted to. You know, you can eat your chocolate and not feel guilty about it, so these are wonderful. I highly recommend them. And with our system, we have to um, ring it through plus, we have to ring it in manually. Put it over to the side. Ooh, you have a lot of good raw stuff. Looks like you'll be making some items this evening. It's another organic item by Everland. They're pretty popular. Yep. They have um, a few nice products out. That's why I shop them. The Black Mission Fix. Oh, these are an absolute divine. Evening time with a cup of green tea. Watching Netflix. I cannot think on top of my head a recipe for these, but I'm sure if you Google them, there are plenty. Mm -hmm. heard they've been around for a little while and of course it's organic um, cacao powder now I'm telling you there's 
hundreds and hundreds of recipes that you could use with this and they're endless one of my personal favorites are um, of course making like granola bars and things like that with the cacao powder but if you've ever tried almond or cashew milk with the cacao powder ashwagandha powder hope i'm pronouncing that correctly um some almond butter or you could put peanut butter inside flax seeds chia seeds and a vanilla protein vegan powder of some sort it's the most delicious thing you could possibly imagine you could add some dates in there too it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. that's probably one of my favorites and i crave it continuously i don't even crave chocolate anymore yeah and it's pure cacao powder good one everybody should have cacao powder in their house the house without cacao powder. Mm -hmm. oh. I have no words for that one. Oh. Walnuts. Now, you could make the most fantastic brownies uh, with just walnuts, the cacao powder that you purchase and the dates so you add i think it's two cups of dates uh one cup of walnuts and i think it's two third cups of two third of a cup sorry correction of cacao powder and you mix it all up not by hand <laughs> highly do not recommend that mix it up um, in a Vitamix if you have one, preferably in a food processor. Um, you might need to add a tiny bit of um, milk of your choice, preferably for me it would be a vegan option type of milk. So, And voila, you have this doughy consistency. Spray it out on a little, mm, I guess a cake pan and refrigerated for an hour or so once you take it out I'm going to warn you you will not stop eating disclaimer <laughs> it's dangerous <laughs> so yeah it's that good and if you have guests over um, this will be one item that will still be um, sought after even after the whole thing's been devoured so make sure you make it well hemp seeds don't need an explanation they're just an awesome source of protein and they have so much vitamins including 25% for iron us women are always iron deficient so that's wonderful it has 80 percent magnesium and this is just from three tablespoons uh, it has 30 percent zinc 25 percent copper 110 percent manganese um 30 percent thiamine and just the list goes on and on 10 grams of protein for three tablespoons now that's huge. It has omega 6s, omega 3s. Even has 360 milligrams of potassium. Now, this is like the perfect food. Need I say more? You would add this to smoothies, salads, soups. I prefer to not put it in um, heated items. I just believe that everything loses its potency at least by. 20% so I would normally add this on actually on toast with almond butter put the toast in the toaster once it comes out put a little bit of coconut oil some almond butter and um, you put a jam of your choice and add like a couple of tablespoons of this 
and it's awesome. Just awesome. This one selling really fast. It's a good thing you're purchasing it because it's going to be gone. By the end of this week, we will not have any more. Okay, let's move on to peanut butter. And this is a nice brand. Nature's Nuts. Smooth is my favorite kind as well. I'm not really into the crunchy. For some reason, I like it smooth. And of course, it looks like you're making a smoothie. <laughs> All the ingredients. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Organic extra virgin olive oil. Now this one, I personally picked it myself when I was buying it from the wholesaler. And it's a product of Spain. Now, the reason why I chose products from uh, other origins than Italy is because there's been a lot of controversy lately with Italian olive oil. Apparently the mafia, yes, this is true, they are accountable for about 80% of the Italian olive oil. And they have been putting substandard products in their olive oil, meaning that it's not really olive oil, but maybe it's canola oil or sunflower oil or safflower oil. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you're paying a premium for olive oil. Why should you get less? Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> so that's the reason why I bought it from a wholesaler in Spain. It's a wonderful, wonderful olive oil. And be sure not to... Um, olive oil does not have a high heat point. Be sure not to heat it uh, when you're cooking too high. Uh, if you're going to be using it for cooking, I would recommend an alternative oil. Um, coconut oil has a really high heat point, uh, but not not go with olive oil. This is for if you're cooking something on a really low temperature setting or um, if you're putting in salads. Yes. Making salsa. Just giving you ideas. I know. You should actually have a tablespoon of this Vinegar. Now, this one is a product of Italy because the Mafia has not touched the vinegar products, apparently. Can't really substitute it with anything else, so this is a good buy. Yeah. A friend of mine works for the company, so it's not organic, but she asked me to do her a favor and put it in my shop, so that's why it's here. seems to be selling. You're buying it. Of course, a few more of her products. Chickpeas. It's actually my favorite bean. Mm -hmm. I love chickpeas. The way I normally eat them is... Um, I will cook them. I do buy can, but not very often. I would cook them and then cut up some mushrooms, tomatoes, garlic, because I personally love garlic. Yes, you will see. Oh, I can see that you've picked a few of my garlics. It's the best part. 
part in the store. I love it. The garlics are raw when I'm putting them in my salad. That consists only of tomatoes and mushrooms. And then I'll add pretty much this amount of chickpeas inside. Throw some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar. Oh. Let's do, let's get the chocolate. <laughs> no need to explain anything, right? We're all guilty of some sort of pleasure. Yours is chocolate, so is mine. Yes. It's a good product. You will not be disappointed with this one. Mm -hmm. and oh, you picked up one of my favorite mascaras. Oh. And this is actually the water resistant wear that you're purchasing mm -hmm. for those rainy days or sweating at the gym you still want to look wonderful it's a good mascara mm -hmm. yeah I used to use um, mascaras by Lancome it's my favorite brand I still love them but my eyes are getting more sensitive, so I need something. Not that organic is always the way to go, but it seems to be soothing my eyes more. Okay. What did you pick up here? Walnuts. really nice of you to offer me one of your walnuts but remember I have sampled them before mm -hmm. they're my product Just weigh this What are these? I don't want to open it for you. Brazilian nuts. I actually, unfortunately, as much as I trust you, I have to open it. People are fraudulent everywhere. Yep. Not you, though. as good as when I sampled them. Don't offer me any more items from your beautiful shopping. They're yours. Watermelon? Mm -hmm. It's not the season. But I found some that tasted really good. And they're on special right now. 99 cents for the whole watermelon. Don't need to weigh that one. It's just one flat rate. Oh. You found. 
found these apples. Now, now you can tell that even my produce is organic because look, they are imperfect. Yep, just the way I like them. I do not want my apples to have a perfect look to them. This is how I like the apples to be. You can tell that my apple trees are organic. They have not been sprayed, otherwise they would not be perfect as such. And my apples also have worms in them. Not the ones that you're buying, <laughs> obviously. If you happen to find one, then you for certainly know it's organic, but yes. I have discarded the ones that have worms. Worms do not grow with fertilizers. Pesticides and herbicides. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to mention that two Brazilian nuts per day is the equivalent dose of 200 micrograms of selenium. It's exceptionally healthy. Yes. Oh, save the best for last. It's from my own garden once again. These are the most beautiful garlics I have ever seen. Oh, oh the most beautiful thing. It should be in a museum somewhere. I know. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It needs to go in a museum. Oh. This is the breath of life. Garlic. Oh. And you found his friend. Oh, beautiful. Now, if you eat this, you will not get sick. I promise you. You can even still see the dirt. That's how organic it is. I actually just picked these up this morning. Mm -hmm. A couple of garlic cloves per day. Say two or three um, raw in their raw form. And I know what you're thinking, but Soraya, it has the odor, the aftermath odor. Well, all you need to do is chew on some fennel seeds or some parsley. Um, you cannot deodorize the garlic or neutralize it with um, mouthwash. It's just not going to work. You would have to neutralize it with a food. And like I said, fennel seeds, uh, parsley, cilantro chew on that. Oh yeah. You get the benefits without the breath. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to pack it in here as much as I can. You brought your own bags? Okay, that's great. their garbage in so they don't have to buy any bags. Yes, but the companies have sort of caught on, so now they're charging five cents per bag.
How are you paying today? Okay, cash. Me too, that's my favorite way of paying. Because then you're not surprised at the end of the month with the credit card bill. Mm -hmm. Okay, from 100. Receipt in the bag or with you? Okay, put it in the bag for you. It's been lovely to see you. Yes. Going on a trip? Well, stop by prior to. Uh, take some non perishable foods with you for your flight, like some dates. Wonderful. Enjoy your time. Take lots of photos and I'll see you when you get back. Okay.